Balaam, he had this problem. He had a problem that many of us have. It's, it's not just a problem that Balaam had. It's a problem that many of us have. Um, he wanted to serve God enough that he could keep his gift. He didn't want to give up his relationship with God so that he could uh, go and talk to God and God would talk to him. I mean, that's a, that's a beautiful thing. It's a great thing. It's a powerful thing to have working in your life. He didn't want to give that up. He didn't want to give up the relationship. He didn't want to give up uh, the blessing, his gift that he had. He didn't want to give that up. But he wanted to figure out a way. He wanted to figure out some way that he could get what he wanted, keep what God had given him, but also find a way to, keep, to get what he wanted. That was his problem. And I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you, I'm going to let the cat out of the bag, okay? If that's what you're trying to do, it ain't going to work. It's just not going to work. The rich young ruler had the same problem. You remember the story of the rich young ruler? He's a young man, rich. He, he's got everything going for him. He's young. He's got his whole life ahead of him. He has power. He has influence. He has prestige. He has money. And he comes to Jesus and he says, I, What must I do to gain eternal life? See, he had the portfolio and he wanted to add one more thing to his portfolio. Eternal life. He wanted to add something. So he comes to Jesus and he said, what must I do to have eternal life? And Jesus said, well, follow all the commandments. And then he lies. He says, I, this I have done since I was a youth. No, you haven't. You know how I know you haven't done that? Because nobody has done that. It's impossible to follow all the commandments, to follow the law. Paul says of what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh. God sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh condemns sin in the flesh. He did that for us. We can't do it. So Jesus was trying to make him aware of his need. But he lied. He did not see his need. So Jesus says, okay, then go and sell everything you have, give it to the poor, and come and follow me. Whoa, that is not what I was expecting. I was expecting to come and add to my portfolio. And what Jesus is saying is, you have to make an exchange. He, wasn't, he didn't want to make an exchange. He had too much. He didn't want to exchange what he had for what Jesus had to offer. But this is what Jesus calls us to do. I mean, didn't Jesus say that the kingdom of God is within you? Within you? He says, behold, the kingdom of God. Luke 17. The kingdom of God is within you. And Jesus said, the kingdom of God is like this. A man finds a treasure buried in a field. And what does he do? He goes and sells everything. Everything that he has to buy that field. That's the way the kingdom of God works. He said, uh, the kingdom of God is like a man who finds a pearl of great price. And he goes and he sells everything he has to buy that pearl. That's what the kingdom of God is like. Many of us, many of us have the same problem. We have so much. In our culture, in this country, we are the richest people in the world. We have so much stuff. We have our friends. We have our family. We have our hobbies. You know, we have hobbies. <laughs> we, have, we have time for hobbies. We have hobbies. We have, uh, we have stuff. We have jobs. We have Money, we have everything. And we come to church, a lot of us come to church, and we, we just want to add, we just want to add something. We just want to add eternal life. And inside we ask this question, and we don't ask it out loud. You would never come to church and go up to your pastor and say this, but this is the question that we ask ourselves inside. 
what is the bare minimum that I have to do in order to receive eternal life? And that's what the rich young ruler wanted to knew. Wanted to knew. He wanted to knew that. <laughs> I can't talk. Um, <laughs> so the rich young ruler, he wanted to know, what is the bare minimum? What is the bare minimum I have to do to receive eternal life? And Jesus said, okay, here's the bare minimum. Go sell everything you have and give it to the poor and come and follow me. So a lot of us, we want to figure out a way, like Balaam, we want to figure out a way. How, what's the bare minimum I have to do? How can I hang on to this relationship? How can I hang on to my hobby? How can I hang on to this thing, whatever it is that I'm spending way too much money on? What it, how can I hang on to uh, this friendship, or how you know, how can I hang on to these things that I have, all these things that I have, and also add eternal life to that? How can I do that? And the answer is that you can't. I'm getting in your business today, but I'm getting in my own business too. <laughs> 